This is Dr. John Willer, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the X-band iris speculum. We've all been plagued with the scourge of intraoperative floppy iris syndrome. There have been several options to deal with this problem, ranging from viscodilation, pharmacologic dilation, mechanical dilation. I haven't had it good luck with viscodilation, and I've spent a lot of time trying to convince myself that intracameral lidocaine or epi-sugarcane does anything. The problem with these methods as far as visco or pharmacologic goes that it may or may not work. The reliable solution is a mechanical expander ring or hooks. For me to use an expansion device, it's gotta be quick, safe, easy to implant and explant. The expand iris speculum fits these criteria perfectly in my opinion. It's a very thin metallic low profile iris expansion device that's easily, safely and quickly implanted, provides a wide field of view and is easily and safely explanted with a minimum of iris trauma and intraocular gymnastics. I have no financial interest in the device or the companies that produce or distribute it. As you can see, the case has begun like any other. I use a 2.75 millimeter clear corneal incision. I make sure to leave enough up travel on the microscope to be able to allow me to visualize the handling of the ring. The ring is very thin and springy and can easily be lost. Once my main incision is complete, my scrub tech passes me the speculum in the container. I raise the microscope focus up to allow me to see through the hole on the top of the container and directly visualize part of the ring within the package. I habitually tap the container lid to make sure that the ring is resting against the base of the, of the carrier and not stuck to the top. The top of the container is removed with a gentle twisting motion, keeping an eye through the hole on the top watching the ring. Insertion forceps are included with the ring and there's also an injector very similar to the Malugan ring injector. My preference is to insert and remove the ring using the provided forceps. I grab the ring as I'm showing, being very careful not to compress it. I try to grab it as distal on the forceps as possible. Stabilize the globe with a Lester hook through the side port and push the ring into the anterior chamber. The ring is going to get held up on the proximal bend of the lateral hooks. It's advanced further into the eye by simply nudging the hooks that are stuck medially within the incision while maintaining some forward pressure on the ring. Once the lateral hooks are inside, open and close the forceps, dropping the foot plate on the anterior chamber, grab the ring and place it into the anterior chamber. The key to doing this is to follow the contour of the globe anteriorly while you're pushing the ring in. Using this technique, you are less likely to require additional gymnastics in planting the ring. Once it's totally in the anterior chamber, I engage the distal, proximal, right, then left hooks as you can see. Now the pupil is safely expanded and held captive within the X-band iris speculum. I always repressurize with a little additional viscoelastic and then the case goes off as normal. Now we'll switch to the next case which shows a good example of the removal of the X-band speculum. The capsular bag and anterior chamber are inflated with viscoelastic. Your lens of choice is implanted into the capsular bag and rotated into your preferred orientation. Be sure that the haptics of the lens implant are not stuck to the optics and are allowed to fully expand. Once the lens is safely in position, I disengage the distal hooks, the side hooks, and lastly the proximal hook. I'll invert my Lester hook, snag the proximal hook, and drag it out through the incision. Using the forceps, I pull the ring out of the AC following the contour of the sclera posteriorly. While explanting the ring, the hooks will catch on the incision. 
This is mitigated by grasping by gaping the incision a little with the lester hook while displacing the stuck hook medially with the incision within the incision and pulling it out again following the contour of the globe. You must follow the contour of the globe while explanting the ring, otherwise the ring may get hooked on anterior capsule or iris. Once the ring is out, I'm very careful not to place any springing forces on the ring. Back the microscope up, carefully place the ring back into the container, make sure that it is seated at the bottom of the container. I do this under magnification. Occasionally, if the ring is kind of crooked or not laying flat, I'll put my finger over the ring as I'm demonstrating, pressing down and removing my finger with a rolling motion off to the side, visualizing the ring to ensure it is in fact in place and safely held. In my hands, this technique is a very safe and effective way of implanting and explanting the X-band iris speculum. I hope you find this video helpful. Good luck and happy hunting.